Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. So if you want to learn about AWS and if you are a Java developer and what are the AWS services that you want to learn. Okay, so basically as a Java developer, I want to you know deploy my Java applications on AWS. Okay, in order to deploy my Java applications on AWS, what are the AWS services that I need to know well let me quickly give you some hints the very first you know aws service that you need to know as a java developer is ec2 service so ec2 service uh, ec2 stands for elastic compute cloud and it is just a virtual server or virtual machine that uh, you need to you know you need to create first and then you need to install java tomcat and then you make a war file of your java application and then you deploy on a tomcat server so just think about how you deploy your java application on your local machine so first you need to install a java right to run java application and then what you will do is you will set up a tomcat server okay you need a tomcat web server in order to deploy your java web applications right and then what you will do you will package your uh, you know java application as a war file okay and then you will deploy this war file in a tomcat server so this is how you deploy your java web applications in your local machine okay so similarly in order to deploy your java application on amazon cloud you need ec2 instance okay this is just kind of a virtual server and once you create a EC2 instance in Amazon Cloud, then what you need to do is you need to install a Java. Okay. So we need a Java to run our Java application, right? And then what you need to do is you need to get a Tomcat server. Okay. And after that, once you install Java and Tomcat, then you need to create a war file of your Java application on your local machine. Okay. Once you create a war file of your java application then you need to deploy this war file in a tomcat server so these are the steps you need to perform in order to deploy your java application on amazon cloud okay you need to create ec2 instance and inside ec2 instance you need to install java and then tomcat server and you make a war file of your java application and then you deploy in a tomcat server okay these are the steps so Apart from EC2 you know, service, you need to know about S3 service. So basically we use S3 service to store the objects. So objects are nothing but files or folders. So we need to deploy a WAR file, right? WAR file of our Java application. So first we upload a WAR file of our Java application in S3 server and then we'll copy the WAR file from S3 service to EC2 instance. Okay, so in order to store our files we need to use s3 service so just remember this service okay so apart from these two services you also need to know rds that is amazon relational database service if you go to database section here you can see rds so this is very important service so if your application that is java application has a database for example mysql database oracle database postgresql database then you need to know about this rds service because we uh, deploy our mysql database or postgresql database uh, in this rds service and then we connect our java application to the uh, you know relational database that we deploy in rds okay so just remember this service rds which we need to you know deploy our database database can be any relational database like mysql database or postgresql database oracle database etc okay great so apart from these three services you need to also know about elastic beanstalk service so elastic beanstalk service is very very important guys so elastic beanstalk service will provide all the resources on aws uh, that required to run our applications for example elastic beanstalk service will create ec2 instance behind the scene and it will you know install java or tomcat based on 
the application or the platform we chosen and it will store a jar file or var file that we upload in elastic beanstalk on s3 server and there is a one more component or one more service aws elastic load balancer so this will redirect our application on particular port all right so if we don't use elastic beanstalk service then we need to do manually all the stuff like we need to first create EC2 instance and on top of EC2 instance we need to install Java or Tomcat alright and we need to create a bucket in S3 service uh, to store the jar or var file and we need to configure AWS elastic load balancer etc. So if we don't use elastic build stack service then we need to manually do all these steps okay but elastic build stack service will provide all these uh, resources uh, to run our application on AWS cloud. So Elastic Stack service will automatically uh, you know handle all the deployment process you just need to upload your code or your you know war file. Alright so this is the fourth AWS service that you need to know as a Java developer and next is a route uh, route 53. So this service you need to uh, know because so once you deploy your application on your Amazon cloud, then you need to configure a domain for your application, right? So for that, you need to, you know, know about this route 53 service. Okay. So once you deploy your application on Amazon cloud, you need to set up the dom domain for your application. For that, you need to know about route 53. All right, all right guys, these are the few AWS services uh, that you need to know as a Java developer if you, are, if you are totally new to AWS. Okay, so just remember these few AWS services. Uh, there are a lot many AWS services uh, here you can see. But as a Java developer and if you are new to AWS for you know Java application deployment, then just start with start by looking into these few AWS services. And I have created a lot of, you know, deployment videos on AWS cloud. So here you can see Amazon uh, playlist. If you just uh, go inside, you know, AWS playlist, you can see a bunch of videos that I have created uh, to deploy our Spring Boot application on AWS. So if you are new to AWS and if you want to know how to deploy Spring Boot application on AWS then I highly suggest you guys to check out these videos and I am sure that uh, you will come to know how to deploy your Java applications or Spring Boot application on AWS cloud and here you can see Spring Boot AWS deployment complete course so this is complete course for beginners uh, from creating AWS free account to deploying Spring Boot crude you know MySQL application on AWS so this is complete course for you so just take a look into it all right so these are the video deployment videos uh, that you can find in aws playlist of my youtube channel all right just remember these five aws services as a java developer if you are new to aws service all right guys i hope this video is helpful to you thanks for watching let me know if you have any question about this topic in a comment section thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video.